All right, you are looking at video of a supposedly abandoned military Air Force Base, Loring Air Force Base in Aresdu County, uh, northern, northeastern Maine. And uh, you're seeing the very big hangar there. And there's the control tower and, of course, looking out across the runways. And I've been hearing a lot of this stuff about this military takeover and everything else, Jade Helm 15 and whatever. And so I heard some rumors about this base possibly being... Uh, having military actions brought into it again and um, uh, recommissioned I guess you could say and so we went there and pretty shocking actually saw this one fenced in area not too far from that big hangar and it is just loaded with just hundreds upon hundreds of Humvees and other military vehicles and I'm thinking okay um, why does a decommissioned Air Force Base have hundreds of military vehicles stowed there. Uh, seems kind of an odd thing. And um, you can see here the, of course, the barbed wire fence to keep people out and everything. And I know that there's an Army National Guard uh, thing here in the area, but the point is, you know, uh, I just don't really understand why all these military vehicles this isn't Army National Guard, just a couple of vehicles to do exercises. I mean, this is a couple hundred of them. Most of the area there has these fence things around that you can't actually see, like some kind of barricade or something. I'm not really sure. But uh, there you can see, I'll pause it here for a minute. There you can actually see some white vehicles over there, like uh, things that would be used to take um, new recruits in. And the, including the white bus there. And actually, you're going to see a white Hummer, or a white Humvee coming up here to your right. Okay, you can probably just barely see it there, in with all the olive drab green ones. But interestingly, uh, very interesting. And of course, up front there, it looks like a lot of generators and things like that, too, that they have stowed there in the front. All right, now here it's coming around to where the entryway into this uh, fenced-in area would be. And now you can get kind of a view going, looking up into the place. And you can see all the different vehicles up in there, how many of them there are. Sorry for the hand shaking there, of course, but I didn't have a tripod or anything. Here's another part of the base that actually has quite a few tanks pause it here again you can see these tanks um, lots and lots and lots of tanks I don't know whether they work I don't know whether they run or whatever but again quite a few tanks at a decommissioned military base interesting here's another view of these Humvees just stacks and stacks and stacks and there's actually, in the back of one, there's a newly shrink-wrapped uh, bunch of, I'm not even sure what that is, maybe tires, or I'm not sure what those parts are there, but newly shrink-wrapped. So these things are not, you know, this base was supposedly decommissioned in, in the 1990s, um, but these things are definitely, there's a lot of new things on these vehicles. And there you see the sign, I'll pause it there, Federal Property, No Parking Within 50 Feet at a decommissioned military base. And we hiked around the area too, and of course there was a lot of uh, new signs, you know, keep out and everything else, uh, weapons ranges and things like this, new brand new signs bolted to trees and whatever, very interesting. Again, some more scenes of these Humvees. Now here's some video, and it's pretty shaky. I apologize about that, but it's uh, these are the brand new barracks, and pretty interesting. And there, you can see people there 
white shirt and a yellow shirt, and there were people at this place. You know, I know there's a job course center in the area there, uh, but it was interesting to see these things are just in excellent condition and could house probably quite a few hundred people, probably into the thousands of people. I mean, this whole Air Force base up there is just absolutely huge, and you could literally fly thousands of soldiers into the place and there'd be plenty of room for them. Over here you see uh, on this other side you see a whole bunch of solar panels, brand new solar panels. You don't put uh, brand new solar panels at a decommissioned military base that's never going to be used again. Again more people sitting around there's it's very active there. So you say, what, what is your opinion of this? Well, my opinion, honestly, is I believe that this military, this huge military buildup is in preparation for the catching away of the body of Christ, uh, also known as the rapture. I believe that they're getting ready for this uh, takeover of America. Um, I think it's getting very, very close. And I would say if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, uh, please watch our salvation message at our main channel page. And uh, make sure that you're saved because you don't want to be here for this coming Antichrist kingdom, this time of Jacob's trouble, the Bible calls it in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Uh, you don't want to be here for it. So uh, please watch our videos on the rapture. Uh, watch the salvation message and uh, find out. Uh, you need to do some research.